be with me this evening. Now I'm coming to presence. I know that the Bible teaches us that we will call them to offer ourselves. That's all I can do in just a little thing. I've never learned how to preach the gospel. I will. And I don't believe any other man has. Neither learned a man nor is a a man. But it's by the revelation of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I didn't come prepared to preach. I didn't bring anything with me. I didn't write down notes and take with me. I know there's some people that do. There's some people that has a good memory that can memorize things. Well, that may be good to a certain point. But for me, it don't, doesn't work. I'm just one. If God sends it down, well, then I'll tell you uh, what He gives me to tell you. And that's what I like about the old Baptist people. Uh, they uh, they wait on the one that has it yeah. before they take and speak it. They don't write it down on paper and put it in their pockets and take it with them. I'm glad that God has such people as that here today. I'm glad that he showed me the old Baptist people. I'm glad that he did. Not speaking against any order. I was once affiliated with the with the holiness church, church of God. God has people in every kindred tongue and nation. We should always take caution, be careful. When we're speaking concerning denominations, I don't know why this has come to my mind. But we should always be careful when, when we begin to speak on that. Why do I say this? Because God has a people in every kindred tongue and nation. God knows them that are His. There's people that will tell you, I know that I myself, I don't care to admit it to you here this evening. I myself am one of those guys that used to say, I found the Lord last night. Oh, children, I want to tell you today, don't put people down for talking that because, listen, I'll tell you why. How that is only lack of understanding. That's what they have been taught. Uh, some people have been taught that all down through life, uh, and they don't know any difference. Uh, uh, but listen, instead of putting them down, uh, when God gives your mind to pray for them, pray for them. I uh, know uh, I didn't find the Lord. He found me in the way out in the wilderness. I followed in my own blood. Uh, my friends, uh, I was born out there, uh, but I was enjoying it. Uh, Yes, I enjoyed every minute of it. I loved it. Uh, some may say, well, I didn't like what I was doing. If you had not like and love what you was doing, you wouldn't have done it. Uh, uh, that's the way that I see it, my friends. Uh, but then there came a time uh, that I heard a voice. Uh, oh, children, I heard my Lord say, come, my child, come, follow me. Uh, listen, children. He didn't stop there, no indeed, I thank God tonight that he didn't stop there. Oh, he gave me a vision of him sitting there upon the throne, uh, with his arms stretched down. Oh, children, yes, as I went down uh, to the altar, oh, fall upon my bending knees and cry, oh, Father, Father, how mercy upon this poor sinner man. And Lord, show me where you'd have me. Uh, tell me what you'd have me to do. Uh, children, there was no one else to turn to. I tried all other sources. Uh, when the time comes uh, uh, for God to bring you in, I can assure you he'll bring you in. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Rich 
rich man and a beggar. And yes, I thought I had it all worked out. Oh, children, oh, then when I reached the church house that I was to go in, and my friends, oh, not even think of the book of the Bible that long the scripture that it was. Oh, listen to him. Yes, I took me a back row scene. I thought surely I'll get to sit here tonight. Oh, brother Bud will leave me alone. But no, he didn't do it. Oh, kept right on to me. He embarrassed me so much. I thought, Lord, if I don't go up there, he's just going to keep embarrassing me. And so I went to him. I thought I'd sit to the side. And it didn't work that way. And a little brother that was in the stand preaching the gospel so sweet. Oh, by the time I got from the back of the church house to the front to where they was, and he was winding down and he sat down. And the pastor of the church got me by the arm and took me over to the stand. He said, No, you're yes, where you belong tonight. Now, children, I want to tell you tonight, I couldn't even tell my name to begin with. I couldn't even open my mouth to begin with. Uh, no, indeed. And just before that, there was this little child in the congregation uh, crying so loud. Uh, but whenever I was standing there, uh, there was no crying going on. The child would stop crying. Everything was so quiet, you could have heard a pin drop. Oh, how embarrassed I was. The Lord told me, said, tell them what you've done. That's exactly it. A lot of people may think, well, the Lord can't t tell you nothing or don't speak to you, but I'm going to tell you something. He can talk to you when he don't speak. And he will talk to you when he wants to, and you won't stop him. It's just simple. They can say, my friends, when the Lord gets ready to speak to you, he can do something. He wants to tell you something. He can do something. He wants to show you something. He can do that too. He wants you to do something. You'll do it. You may hesitate, but you'll eventually do it. If you see any peace here in this life, you'll do what he tells you to do. You'll become a willing person. He won't reach down and get you by the hair of the head. No, I, I, I don't believe that. I don't believe he'll reach down and get you by the hair of the head and make you do anything. But I believe that he can make you become a willing man and a baby. Amen. 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 I believe yes. it. Mm. I love the Lord. I don't know. I'm not going to apologize for what I said. But I do believe it's not the Lord. You know, there's many times that we, sometimes we sit here on the seat and we, we get right to our mind. It's just nature. It's natural. It runs through our mind. Oh, what, what am I going to do? I don't don't have anything in mind. Lord, I don't want to get up there. Have you ever felt that way? You felt it? I know you have. I felt it many, many times. But Lord, why? Why can't I just listen to you? But the Lord didn't call me to sit still. He called me to feed his sheep and feed his lambs. Yes, he did. I recall when he first called me back in 1988. Long about June, May or June of 88. I was baptized the first time in May of 88 with Holmes Church. I come into the Bible long about 90, 91, somewhere along the line. But I tell you one thing, I've loved David many people. I'm going to stay here tonight and tell you that I haven't had my ups and my downs and some disagreements, some disappointments. I've had. Well, the good Lord outweighs the bad, my friends. The joy that I've received uh, for the years that I've been amongst the unwise people. Oh, she's been so good to me. She's my life, my friends. You are my friends. You know, there's people that would tell you, oh, that you, 
that you can't put ifs on this and on that. But I want to tell you something. I don't know why this is coming to mind. But a lot of people will tell you, oh, yes, you can eat the good of the land. Oh, anytime. I want to tell you one thing. You'll eat the good of the land if you're obedient to God's word. Well, children, he didn't say if you're disobedient, you shall eat the good of the land. No. He said he that is obedient shall eat the good of the land. Good of the land. So mm -hmm. keep that in mind. Yes. How we can eat when we're obedient. Yes, indeed, we can have joy. We can rejoice. All those people to have you to believe. How that you cannot lose out on joy here in this world if you're God's little child. I want to tell you one thing. You can't lose your eternal home. Oh, yes, you can lose out on joy here in this world. Uh, right through your own disobedience. Uh, you can lose that way too. Uh, you can lose but being stubborn. Uh, yes, uh, but let me tell you something, my friends. Uh, what my God has done is finished. Uh, yes, indeed, as far as our eternal home. As yours, we're His today. We're His forevermore. Evermore. All oh, we go through life here in this world. We have our problems for disagreements. We have our problems for sufferings. Yes, we see our loved ones have to leave us. Yes, it hurts. I was just thinking the other day about some of my loved ones that's gone on. Children, listen. They can't come to us, but we can go to them. I one day after a while, my friends, the Lord's going to call. And each and every one of his little children, I will go home to be with the Lord. And listen, I'll take that just a little further. And whether or not their name has been written on a church book here in this world or not, and if we're his, we'll remain his, my friends. And whether that name was written there or not, it was written in the Lamb's Book of Life, my friends, as sure as it was written there. Heaven is our home one day. Ah, yes, I can say sometimes that I know uh, that I'm heaven bound. And then there's times, my friends, that I'm down in the valley so low that I worry uh, whether or not that I'm even one of his. If I'm not one of his, then I'm not heaven bound. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, but I want to tell you tonight, I believe uh, that I am one of his. And I believe one day after a while that I'll hear my Lord say, Come, uh, you blessed of my Father, and you heard of the kingdom of heaven. Right for you from before the foundation of the world. Uh, children, listen. I'm looking forward to one day uh, to seeing this man called Jesus. Uh, the one that paid it all for you and I. Uh, yes, he gave his life for you and I. Uh, yes, God sent his son down here to this unfriendly world uh, so that we might have the right to the tree of life and might have it more abundantly. And there's not a one under the sun of my voice tonight that's ever heard the word of God uh, that can't say that they're living a more abundantly life. Because I believe we are. I believe we're all living a more abundantly life than we once lived. You know, you can... God's love flows from rest to rest. I can't go out here and pick all of God's children out. I can't go out here and pick them out. I don't know them all. But I can say one thing. I can love them. I can walk along with them. Oh, I might not can't do everything and might not agree with everything they do or say. I know they don't agree with everything I do or say. But I'll tell you one thing. That won't stop that love. That won't stop me from loving them. I believe if we're what we confess to be, that we're to love one another, regardless of what we're affiliated with here in this world. Because children, listen, there's no greater love than a man that laid down his life for his friends. Jesus laid his life down for you and I. I love you tonight. God bless you. Yeah, you. Keep me in mind in your prayers. Continue to pray. I believe somebody out there has been praying tonight. Continue to pray for this brother that's to come to follow after me. Go ahead, Brother Estel. It's always good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Take your time. You know, I'd rather be in the house of the Lord. At anywhere that I've ever been in my life. There's times that I that I don't even there's times that I wonder, Lord, 
Should I go tonight? Or should I not? Have you ever felt that way? But then, there's a little voice that we hear deep within. Press on, my child, press on. Press on toward the prize of the high calling that Apostle Paul tells us about. Yes, one day after a while, my friends, we'll see our Savior for oh, ourselves. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll wait. Yeah. God bless you. Come here. <clears throat>